Welcome to, uh, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, did okay last week, not great. I almost killed it when Ryan Garcia almost got pushed to over eight and a half. He got the eighth round knockout. We were half a round away from really cleaning up. What can you do? It happens. We still were ahead um, this weekend. We still came out on top, but not, we didn't kill it like we should have. So let, let, let's get it back this weekend. This is our lock of the week. Uh, let's get into it. This is um, Rabisi Ramirez um, and Rafael Espinosa. Uh, it's this week's Lock of the Week. Before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, the Boxing Book comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house. We don't gamble here. We use DraftKings. I can't even use DraftKings in Texas. But if you do gamble... Uh, I'm going to show you a, 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 a way to bring down the house. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. We make money pretty much every week. Uh, it just matters how much. Um, like we made money this last weekend. We just would have made a bunch more had Ryan Garcia uh, been pushed another half around. Um, <clears throat> it certainly looked like he was going to be. Um, also, please subscribe. Uh, to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Um, I was not familiar with Rafael Espinosa. I went back. I watched two of his fights. What was on a Golden Boy card? He fought on uh, opening battle of the Golden Boy card in Mexico, one of those effort promotion cards. Um, and then he, he fought. I watched the fight that he had on um, uh, Box, Box Azteca in Mexico. Rafael Espinosa is, is Mexican. Um I've seen enough. This is not a good fight. He's ranked 11 by the WBO. He's tall. He can punch. Um, I, I watched the fight um, with um, Ali L'Oreal. Should, should I share this with y'all? I'm going to share this with y'all. Y'all tell me if you think this dude takes a dive. enough to do that but Espinoza has that fluidity he's really really good they caught him again coming in and down goes Laurel for the second time in round one and he does not look like he's going to get up this time now there's something going on with the eye of Laurel he's not going to y'all think y'all think he took a dive <laughs> y'all think he took a dive does that look legit to you all right, but that's uh, the guy that knocked him out, not the guy that took the dive. The guy that knocked him out is Rafael Espinosa. Uh, I wasn't too familiar with him. I had to go back and watch him. Um, he's tall. He's six foot one. He's rangy. He's fought at South Pole recently. Uh, and that's the the, the, the uh, box Azteca fight I, I watched. Um, he fought a guy named uh, Carlos Arnales uh, in Tijuana, uh, who was 25 and three. Um, and Analis dropped him in the first round. Um, he came back and dominated the fight. Look, he uses his jab. He presses forward. He's slow. He's not hyper athletic. He's not unathletic. He's not like Margarito slow. Um, but he doesn't really throw on high volume. Um, it's mostly it's basic. It's jab right hand. He gets a little wild at times. Um, he's really he's pretty basic. He's just he's just really tall for the division. Um, I, I don't think he's gonna offer much up to Rabisi Ramirez. I, I think Rabisi Ramirez is beatable, not by this guy. Um, and, and the odds uh, are, are wide, but I don't even think they're wide enough. Honestly, like he, he has zero percent chance of, of winning this fight. Um, he's, he, you know, um, he pumps out the jab a little bit. You know. Um, he fires the right hand. It, 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 it's all basic, though. Um, he, like I said, he struggles a little bit with Southpaw. He's slow. Um, it's just, there's just not, not, not much to like about. Like, I don't see any path to victory outside of you know, some amazing lightning in a bottle right hand that he lands, a uh, straight right hand that he lands. Because, like I said, he does have some power. Um, you know, he, he's got a pretty good uppercut. Uh, on the inside, uh, but he, you can back him up too. And Rabisi Ramirez is gonna back him up. Like that's that's gonna happen. Um, he he's easy to hit. Um, like I said, his punches are obviously he's tall, and long. His punches are long. 
Um, you know, I haven't seen him really have to try to cut off a fighter. It's not the fighters he was fighting, you know, in the two, in the two uh, fights I watched of him. I, I don't know how he cuts off the ring, uh, but he's slow. Like, he's slow. He's not, like, slow, kind of slow for a, like, boxer, like, Triple G, who can still cut off the ring. He's just, like, <clears throat> he doesn't really seem to be much of an athlete. Um, he's six one. Like, you know, what do you like about him? Well, he's a six one fellow way who can punch. And he's ranked eleven by the WBO. Um, obviously there's there's that fight, which uh, the guy took a dive. Um, I said what I said. I said what I said. Um and as far as Rabis Ramirez, Olympic gold medalist, lost his first fight. Now he won what thirteen in a row. Uh, he's got that typical Cuban style. Um, you know, he doesn't throw a ton. His punches are accurate. His footwork is phenomenal. He's got great feet. Uh, in addition to having great feet, he's a master at at, at, at controlling range. He can get inside when he wants. Um, you know, he's a southpaw. Um, he, you know, he's, he's got that strict, strict Cuban style. Um, he, he's, he, he's, accurate. he's got good pop, and he's really good on the inside, too. Like, his skills are highly developed. Um, I, I just think you can outwork him. You know, I think you can muscle him up. I think like, you could if, if Isaac Dog Bay wasn't garbage, I think like that's the style that could beat him. It would just rough him up, overwhelm him with shots, hit him to the body, hit him in the arms. Like I, I think the Mexican style could beat him, but not this guy, right? Um Uh, the thing I like about Rabisi R- 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 besides from his feet, his feet are great. Is is, is, is the punches? How the angles he throws punches from? Right, like he he can jab jab straight right hand, but then he throws like these shovel hooks and these hooks, three quarter hooks, uh, and lead shots. Like it, it's impressive. It's impressive. Um, he he also time shots. He's a, he's an excellent counter puncher. Um, you know he. he he punches in between your punches really well. And it's the one thing I, I noticed about one of the things that I noticed about Espinosa is he goes, you go, I go, he'll let you throw, he'll guard, he'll block, and then he'll throw. That's not going to work with BC. Rabisi is going to split those punches. You know, he's going to come up. He's going to, you know, he's going to throw the uppercut. Uh, he's going to counter him. He's going to get in the inside. Uh, I, I, I think eventually he's going to walk him down. He does stop him. I, I think the only question is when I, I don't really see this as a competitive fight. Um, and I, you, know, I, you know, I'm always trying to find upset because the odds are, I, I see no way in, in which this is even competitive, really. Uh, I think this is a showcase for Rabisi Ramirez. Um, I can't even, I can't even read my notes here. I, I you know, a couple of the floors I see with Rabisi Ramirez, like he doesn't throw much, you can get him to show up, you can big boy him. I really think you can big boy him. Right, like if you're if you're physically strong, um, you know, I I think someone like Eddie Vasquez would give a ton of trouble. Just um, really, I, I think Eddie Vasquez might beat him. Really, I, I it's just you know because he can hit. I like for sure he can hit, but like he doesn't have like concussive one punch crazy. But he's got good pop, right? He does, and he's got a bunch of knockouts, and you can tell that he can hit. But like you can, you can get him to show up. You can get him to keep his hands. You know, you can get him to keep his hands in his pocket and, and not throw. And you can win rounds with him just by outworking him. And then you, you can bang him in the body, slow him down. You can press him. You can press him. You can press him. I, I think like the Mexican style would, would would give him problems, but not this guy. All right, so let's get to the odds. Um, let, let's take a look at the odds here. I'm going to show you how to make money. This is our lock of the week. Again, we're not going to make a killing on this, but I I, I don't see how Rabisi doesn't stop him. Um, so I'm I'm going to do this. You can take the under eight and a half, but it might be a late stop. It's a twelve round fight, um, so that, that gives you plenty of time. But I'm doing this. Rabisi remained a two times bet, and you can make this a three or a four times bet too. But just for simplicity, I'm going to make it a two times bet. So a, a two dollar bet makes you sixteen sixty six. That's not really where we're making our money. Where we're making our guaranteed money. Is on the stoppage. Uh, Robisi Ramirez by KO, TKO, or DQ. It's only minus 200. I, I feel like this should be way wide. I feel like it should be like minus 8,000. Like, there's no way Espinosa is going to win this fight. And, and getting only six and a half is crazy. Like, I, I mean, I, I don't see any reason. Like, Espinosa is not going to win this fight, man. Um, and he's going to get stopped. So, 
minus 200. Like, if I was making these odds, I'd have Rabisi Ramirez at minus 1,800. And, yo, the, the, the stoppage at minus 400. I, I think I'd have a minus 1,850 at minus 400. Like, that's how I would have it. <clears throat> I, I, I don't think the fight is, is close at all. Um, I, I, there's no way he can win this fight, right? Like, there's just – he's going to be outmatched. He's outclassed. He's outskilled. I don't even know that he's the bigger hitter because, like I said, R- Robisi can hit. Um, he, Robisi's a, a master of, of controlling distance. He's a southpaw. southpaw the, the one southpaw I saw him fight gave him a lot of trouble and, and dropped him in the first round. Um, it's, I I just see no path to victory. I, I see no path to this even being competitive. Right, like Dorote was able to make it competitive to a degree with Ryan Garcia, even though it never looked like he was going to win. At least you know he he was making it competitive for a moment. I don't see this being competitive. I I really don't. I, I think this is this is going to be a wash. This is going to be one sided. Um, and I I think that's your bet. I think you take Rabisi Ramirez. And I think you take Rubisi Ramirez on the money line, and then you take the prop bet for him to win by KO or TKO or, or, or DQ. And you make some money there, and, and you clean up, and we go on to the next one. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money on the sport of boxing. Uh, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is December 4th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.